Hey, what's going on guys? I wanted to share with you my new solar system with two power walls that I got installed. And I'll put the specs of the power walls on the screen and a layout of my solar system. That way you guys can check it out. Um, they just finished the whole system, what was it, yesterday? And I'm just waiting on my utility provider to give me permission to operate. But the system is ready and I'll show you in the app how it looks. As far as the power walls, uh, they're already on. Both of these are on. I'll go over the system really quickly. Um, two conduits go up there to that junction box. So in the future, I can have two additional power walls. I think if I add one more to my house, it's gonna be the perfect. So with three power walls, I'll be able to power both of my AC units during a, uh, an outage. So right now, only one would uh, work and I'll show you the wire that they added for that. And let's go look at the rest of the system. All right guys, so here we can look at the energy side of the Tesla app. It's the same one for the car. Uh, we got a 2X here for two power walls. They're at 22%. I think they told me they ship them out with 27 percent. We look at power flow right now. Everything is being any everything from my that my house is consuming is from the grid. So I have no power walls or no solar. Once I get the approval to use my solar, it should be filling up my power walls and my house. Here's a cool little graph that you can like turn on solar power wall or the grid energy usage from the house all the sources from solar power wall or the grid so right now 100% grid you can download this data if we go to impact it'll tell you how how much self power you were so right now we're dependent everything on the grid backup history uh, there was that time we tested the system, so we were on backup for about nine minutes. And then you can customize your power walls. So right now I have them set to backup mode only, which is what uh, Tesla told me to do. And once I get permission to operate, I can go to self-powered. And then I think I'll have the storm watch, which is something I want to use because with that, if there's a storm coming and your batteries are like at 50%, it'll start filling up the batteries from the grid so you have full capacity. So that's pretty much everything with the app. If you guys are if you guys are interested in solar, please use my referral link. It's down in the description and I'll pin it in the comments. Uh, you guys are able to get $100 off your solar system. And sometimes they have different offers, but as of right now, it's $100. So let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments. And the gateway here, that is... I think there's some numbers here. All right, so I have my inverters, my two power walls there. And then this is uh, my service disconnect. If I were to turn this off, this main uh, service disconnect here, my system would go into backup mode. And then this is my uh, meter that's already net metering, so they didn't have to change any of that. Going over here, these are the two inverters. And this wire that's right here, this is actually going going to the gateway you can see right there that wire going to the gateway is actually letting this AC unit not to turn on whenever there's an outage because the two power walls cannot output enough power to power both of the units so it can only power one conduit is completed it's got a warning sign goes all the way up there so you can see they uh, plug the hole where the they drilled it so we'll go up to the roof and look at the panels they added on top of the panels I thought they were only gonna put skirts 
on the bottom but they actually have side skirts on the sides and the bottom so it looks really clean let's see if we can get a shot from from back here so right here they had an anchor so for their safety and fortunately they had to drill here and they put like a flashing underneath it and there's like uh, this type of silicone on top so I think it's got 10 years of warranty for leaks but I think what I'm gonna do is I'll come up here and probably fill these little holes up with some type of uh, roofing caulking but I don't think it'll leak because it's got like a bunch you can see it right there a bunch on top and then it's got this flashing underneath it as far as the panels you can kind of see there's a gap so any leaves and stuff is just gonna come right down points on the bottom they have their own uh, bolt down there here and stuff I'm gonna come up here do some caulking and yeah just pretty excited hope I get the permission to operate here pretty soon and I can get the system up and running so stay tuned guys make sure you subscribe to the channel so you guys can uh, see what's going on mm -hmm. 